one thing that I see a lot of churches doing when they communicate things either from the stage or from the platform or from the pulpit, when they want people to take an action, register for this event, uh, give today, sign up for this camp, whatever it is, if they want people to do something, there's a tendency to lighten up the call to action. So sometimes what it'll look like is this. Hey, if you would like to, feel free. Hey, if you don't mind, grab your connection card. If you wouldn't mind to fill that out, drop it in the offering plate. If you wouldn't mind, feel free to give on your way out. Feel free to fill out this card. Go ahead, if you choose to, to sign up for camp. And that is kind of a tendency that we have to be polite, where we think, okay, if I'm if I'm too forceful, if I'm in a conversation with someone, I'm not just going to tell them to do something because it just feels weird to just give another adult an order unless they're working for me. And so we have a tendency to soften our language and make everything kind of in the passive tense. And I want to encourage you to think differently about when you and when the communicators at your church make announcements, give calls to action, whether from the pulpit or it's just, you know, your campus pastor or your associate pastor or you or your worship leader is giving some kind of instruction, some kind of call to action, some kind of call to give, to sign up, to take a next step. If it's important enough for you to talk about, and it's really something that you want people to do, you want to remove the passivity from your voice because language builds culture. And if your language is passive, you're going to have a passive culture. So instead of things like feel free, or if you wouldn't mind, or if you think about it, or if you would, replace those things with more direct language. Try this, be sure to give, or definitely go sign up, or I want you to take out the connection card, everybody do it, it's on your seat, take it out right now, grab a pen and fill that out. Everybody get your phones, go to suchandsuchchurch.com slash connection card, Let's fill this out together. Everybody grab your Bibles. Let's turn to X verse. See the difference in that language? It's more direct. It's less passive. It's more action oriented. And it spurs people from a communications perspective to actually take action. Because when you say feel free or if you would or if you want to, it kind of removes the idea that you're talking to that person about them taking an action right now. But if you say, grab your pen, pull it out, take out your phone, be sure to give on the way out, drop this in the offering bucket as you're leaving, sign up for camp, go to this website. Like these are direct calls to action and people actually register, oh, this is about me. Now you might be saying, well, people aren't gonna do what I tell them to do just because I tell them to do it. Yeah, you're right, sure, <laughs> that's, that's true. But they sure as heck probably won't if your language is passive, right? What we're trying to say is, let's move from passive language to active so that you have a much better chance of people actually taking action on what you're asking them to do right there in the moment or right when they leave your service. So move from passive to active, try to look at your language and move away from things that kind of give people an option. Things like feel free if you would and move towards be sure or basically just do this. Start with the verbs, try to do that, change the language and see if it increases the next steps. And the reason why this is so important is if we believe that the, the things that we're asking people to do are important, then we wanna move them down that path. We don't wanna just suggest that perhaps, maybe they might want to if they decide that it's worth it, right? We wanna move them down the path. We know that it's a good thing. We know that this event that we're asking them to register to is good. We know that generosity is good and that's what God calls us to. We want that for them, not just from them. We know that we, we want them to follow along with what we're doing in the scripture. We want them to fill out the connection card so we can stay connected to them. We want them to get into a small group. All of these things are important so let's communicate that with our language because language builds culture. We don't want a passive culture, we want an active culture. So try that, let me know how it works for you. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you think about this and click on this video right here where we'll go more into 
the use of words that drive the culture of your church and the culture of your sermons and your teaching content. So click on that video right there and we'll go further in it.